there's a lot of discussion about what the film Nope is about. Here's my contribution. It's full of spoilers. So this is the spoiler alert. Do not watch any further if you haven't seen the film yet and don't want thoughts ahead of the spectacle. But I think that it is a ironic mixing horror and comedy attack on Jungian understandings of UFOs, symbolism, and the pathway to more in life, even via the supernatural. It undoes that and replaces it with a Lacanian understanding of the real, which of course is not real at all. It's just a haunting of supposed depth when really all is flat, all is technological, all is natural. So here are 10 points to back up my reading of the movie. The first is its literalism. We're told in one of the great twists that what is being observed is not a UFO, but is the creature itself. That is to remove the UFO as a symbol, to remove it as a portal to higher aspects of reality and reduce it to just another creature, even another creature here on Earth. And so that theme of literalism runs through the movie as gradually any mystery is undone, as technological solutions are turned to to remove the sense of threat. Point number one. Point two. This is a film about nature. Natural selection runs through the film. Nature, red in tooth and claw, is a constant theme. The brutalization of animals and the way that if you don't pay attention to their natural state, they will turn against you, particularly in the story about the chimp turning on its collaborators. That is a baseline for the film. It's reminding us of this naturalistic reading of life. If you don't pay attention to that, it turns back to bite you. No supernaturalism there. Thirdly, there is the scene when the alien creature displays to its perceived attackers stroke potential food, and the display has the shape of a mandala. These are the highly symmetric, perhaps circular, perhaps square symbols that for Jung speak of forthcoming wholeness or completion. But in the film, again, they're naturalized. They're just turned into the display mechanism, no doubt evolved over countless millennium of warning like any other creature. The symbolism is removed, the supernatural inner meaning is dissolved, and it becomes just another display, not a mandala portending more at all. Fourthly, the theme of not looking the creature in the eye is increasingly important. And whilst that makes sense in the natural context, that if you look a creature in the eye, it feels threatened, in the psychological inner context, of course, looking things in the eye is precisely the way to go. Look the fear in the eye and the shadow dissolves. So again, this is dissolving the inner sense of UFOs and of the supernatural, the encounter which is at once within and without, and replacing it with a naturalistic, literal reading. Don't look the creature in the eye if you don't want it to attack. Then there is, fifthly, the ironic, witty references to potential supernatural phenomena. There are the plastic blowing ghosts in the film, and in particular there is the shoe that see, seems to stand on one edge. I think these are just foils. They're just ironic, witty references to potential supernaturalism that actually has no meaning at all beyond just mocking that take on reality. And so that is their purpose. Another reading that renders the film towards this literalism, towards this naturalism. Sixthly, there is a deeper way in which this is done because the spiritual is removed and replaced with the ethical. 
many commentators on the film have remarked about how the film is a takedown of Hollywood that would suck you in and then when it's digested you spit you out again and so it has a powerful ethical meaning but that is at the expense of any deeper spiritual meaning. The ethical, of course, is important, but it's a trope in modern humanism, even in quite a lot of religious circles, to replace the spiritual significance of events and instead call on just the ethical, a social gospel, comment on the now in a flatland kind of way. Valuable, no doubt, but nonetheless removing dimensions of reality once again. And you see this, seventhly, with the witty apocalyptic scenes in the film. There are moments when blood rains down from heaven, for example, and there's the reference at the beginning of the film to the prophet Nahum and how God will bring sickness and revulsion to the earth. But these have a naturalistic explanation. They are merely the byproduct of the creature's digestive pro processes. And so again, the apocalyptic ceases to be an unveiling of a deeper reality and becomes just one more phenomenon on planet Earth. Eighth, I referenced at the beginning the Lacanian notion of the real, which actually isn't real at all, but is an empty space from which into which human beings can project all sorts of fears and hopes and aspirations. And that theme is played out in the film too because life is treated as a question of power. Who's got power over whom? Can the characters gain power over the creatures? Can the hard done by supplier of horses to Hollywood get their own back on the powerful machine that is Hollywood? Can the name of the rider in the first movie clip be recalled? Power is the theme that runs through the film. Again, valuable comments to make, but at the expense of alternative dynamics and realities that the film denies being present in reality. So, ninthly, this is a film that's broadly humanistic in the modern atheistic sense. The heart of the film is family, the brother and the sister that find a way of relating. Again, no bad thing, but a flatland rendering of reality quite common in American movies to return to the value of family as if that's the only thing that really stands up, that's the place from which energy and hope and aspiration is drawn. But it is a humanistic reading of life, no symbols of transformation, no supernatural, no new dimensions of reality pressing to be known. Instead, family is what counts. And so, 10th on my list, the film is a nope two symbols of transformation, to the Jungian understanding of UFOs, to the supernatural that might actually be other dimensions of reality pressing towards us. A nope to the mandala, it's just a display. A nope to looking the shadow in the eye, it's just a bit of advice for encountering strange creatures. A nope to supernatural signs like shoes standing on their end. A nope to the spiritual, instead saying yes to the ethical. A nope to the apocalyptic, it's just a natural phenomenon. A nope to the divine, it's all a power game. A nope to spiritual aspirations, it's really family that counts. Nope to all that, the film says.